what to do in a town so beautiful. Here I am in Tassie. I'm in Hobart and this is Sandy Bay. As you can see behind me here, it's just stunning. Today I'm checking out this amazing trail town that is Hobart. I'm gonna meet Jono from Hobart Mountain Bike Tours. He's gonna to tell me a little bit about where to ride or maybe pop up to the top of Mount Wellington and then hire a bike and do some of the sights. What an adventure. Come along with me for the ride. So first stop is the top of Mount Wellington. There she is, shrouded in cloud. Up there is where a bunch of mountain bike trails start. Now check that out and then get back down into town. I'm driving my little steed here, my Suzuki. I call her Fernando. I'm at the top of Mount Wellington. We're about three k's from the CBD of Hobart. It's crazy, and I'm at a thousand meters. This is where a lot of the rides start from. There are heaps more around Hobart. But there's the little anomaly thing that says we're at the absolute top. And I'm really cold, so I'm gonna head back down and meet Jono in Hobart. Well, there it is. You couldn't see much at the top because it was so foggy. But that's Hobart, right there. That whole town there you can see is rideable on bikes. There's so many things to see. You can hire bikes, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm with John here from Atlas Cafe, and he also runs Hobart Bike Tours. John, tell us about bike riding here in Hobart for families and couples. Is it much, John? Everybody, I'm going to go ride your bike and we're going to go right down the Sandy Main Street. But I've just up at Mount Wellington before. There's some serious vertical there. John from Hobart Bike Tours, get online, but I've got to say, get in your bike tours. It's your pocket. It's unbelievable. With Ian from Hobart Bike Hire. Ian, you make it easy for families, couples, and friends to hire a bike and go and check out Hobart, don't you? Absolutely. What we do. How do you do it? By the day rate or? Yeah, it's all by the day. You just, um, we have a sliding scale depending on what time you pick up the bike. Uh, if, if the price goes down, you get more desperate as the day goes on. <laughs> the desperation marketing plan, yeah. I like that one. Um, so much to see in Hobart. I'm going to jump in, go down to Constitution Dock, and then head down to Sandy Bay. I reckon I'll get an e bike. Got them? Yep, absolutely. Magic, let's do it. Hobart Bike Hire doesn't just do bicycles, does it, Ian? It does. Moody Just when you thought it couldn't have got any more fun or any more groovy, you can come to Hobart Bike Hire and ride motorbikes, bicycles, e bikes, you name it. So I'm in Constitution Dock with Timmy from Chain Reaction, which is a charity ride which goes right throughout Tassie, raising money for very good causes. Timmy, Constitution Dock, did you realise with the coronavirus? Uh, and the lack of toilet paper, they're thinking you're renaming it Constipation Dock. I heard this. Yes, it's yeah. actually true, but anyway, let's not let one go. This is a great spot to start your little bike holiday around Hobart. Constitution Dock, you ride right through to Sandy Bay. I'm going to go there now, but Timmy, we're all mates. Can you believe this? I bump into this total legend. I'm oh, good man, I'm going to go do some more chain reaction <laughs> work myself. <laughs> more like about 2Ks, not 300 like you. <laughs> And this is what Constitution Dock is all about. The seafaring past of Hobart in this part of the world. Lots of tales of land lovers and pirates. People such as the folk behind me. Oh, hi there. That's what I'm talking about. So here we are in Salamanca. And what's little known, this is all Georgian architecture. In fact, Hobart and Tasmania is probably the epicenter of Georgian architecture in Australia. Just so beautiful. What a spot. And here in Salamanca, look what I found. Piece to camera in reflection. A brewery for the Brick Factor Ride. Might have to give that a bit of a visitation later. Check out this place, riding up to the top of Battery Point. It's just 
right near the actual dock there at the Constitution Dock. You got this lovely, lovely boutique hotel called Piano. How about this little find, the Princess Park, just above Salamanca, and it is just the most beautiful place to bring your family and have a picnic, a bit of a sit down, maybe contemplate life a little. There you go, I just contemplated it, it's pretty good. I've just ridden from Constitution Dock through Salamanca and now heading towards Sandy Bay, which is that way. And it's a gorgeous, maybe 10K ride on this e-bike. This is so much fun. Hobart has got so much going for it. Lots of history. Tell you what, tons of places to eat and lots of things to do. Pretty cool place. Trail Towns is definitely coming back here.